In this video, we will see about the sub procedures. Sub procedures are basically used to execute set of statements without returning any value into your code. So let us see an example how sub procedures are written and how they have been called here. Right now, the very first thing if you see, I'm trying to call the sub procedures which I've declared here. Let's see the declaration past part first. Sub T sum that's a sub procedure name, and I've written some sentence message box HP unified functional testing, and I'm trying to print some message that is message printing. This print will print a message in the output pane. Okay, so if you want the output pane, you can go to view and click on this output, and you see there's an the output pane given here. So this is the thing which I have written in the sub procedure and I finally I have said as end sub. Now there are three methods by which I can call the sub procedure. Directly you can just write the name of the sub procedure that is T sum. Second method is you can just write as T sum in the brackets and third method is you can just call T sum and that's a sub procedure name. So now let me try to execute that step by step using step into function. So I'll just go to this run menu bar and click on this step into and click on run. Okay. The shortcut key for step into is F11 from my keyboard, I'll press it and you see what will happen in the output pane. So I'll press F11 from my keyboard. So from here T sum, it directly jumped to this sub procedure. Now it will display a message box which contain HP unified functional testing, that's what given. After that it will go to this print message, I'll click on OK. And you see there's a mes message printing, the text has been printed here. Again I'll go to the second place. Now it went to the second line, that, that's the second sentence, that is T sum in brackets, it's calling the sub procedure. Again it will jump to that location, it will display a message box, F11 from my keyboard and you see message printing, that's new text which is added here. Again I'll press F11 from my keyboard, okay. Now that's the third place, it will also call that sub procedure. So it will came to this place, message box, unified functional testing and the print message printing here. You can see the last sentence which is given here. So there are three methods basically which you can use for calling your sub procedures. So I hope you have understood how to write a sub procedure into your test and what are the different methods by which you can call your sub procedure at any place into your test. That's all for this video.